outside China has increased 34 and the number of affected countries has tripled. The annoying thing about the spread of COVID-19 is that where it all began, which is China, Wuhan to be specific, has been able to reduce the spread of this particular virus. It will interest you to know that the countries that are worst hit by this virus are even those outside of China. For example, Northern Italy and now the United States and of course some countries in Africa. Thousands are fighting for their lives in hospitals. At the moment, at the time of this report, uh, the WHO has recorded 118,000 cases in 114 countries and 4,291 people have lost their lives. Of course, it is expected that in the days and weeks ahead, the number would increase. Number of deaths would climb higher and number of affected countries would also climb higher. And so WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we are deeply concerned about the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. I must tell you that some countries woke up late um, in terms of taking action. Countries like the United States didn't wake up in time and it's spreading like wildfire in the United States. Of course, you know that in some countries of the world, schools have been shut down, public spaces shut down. I mean, in, in Northern Italy, for example, people don't move around anymore. Schools have been shut down. People are now sitting in their homes, not going anywhere. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It is a word that, if misused, can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over, leading to unnecessary suffering and death. Now, according to the regulations, the WHO doesn't come out to declare a particular disease or, or, or illness as pandemic until they have assessed it and seen the level at which it is affecting humans. All right, and so they had to come out today to say, hey, look, people, this thing has become a pandemic, and so we are declaring it to be a pandemic. You're going to hear what the president of the World Health Organization had to say in his speech, right? So what I'm just showing here is just excerpts or the press release of what he said. So describing the situation as pandemic does not change WHO's assessment of the threat posed by this virus. It doesn't also change what the organization is doing or what and it doesn't change what countries should do we have never before seen a pandemic sparked by a coronavirus this is the pandemic cost first one to be precise caused by a coronavirus all right and then he went ahead to say that of course again one and eighteen thousand countries reported all right and more than 90 percent of the cases are in four countries and two of those are China and Republic of Korea, which of course are, have been declining epidemics. They are declining seriously. Korea and China are managing the situation as much as they can um, at the moment. So you, you really will not see so much of the cases coming from them. 81 countries have not reported any cases and 57 have reported 10 cases or less, of which Africa is one of them. And they are saying, now they are advising countries saying, if you detect, test, treat, isolate, and trace, and mobilize people in response, those with the handful of cases can prevent those cases from becoming clusters. And of course, you will hinder community transmission. And it came on to say that, yes, some countries are struggling with a lack of capacity, some are struggling with lack of resources, while some are struggling with a lack of resolve. All right, and you say, for example, great measures are taken in Iran, Italy, and Korea to slow the virus and control epidemics. For example, in Korea, in in, um, in Italy, like I said, Lombardy, especially, people are condoled. If it's not necessary for you to move around, you are going to be stopped. So, basically, the president is just trying to tell everyone that look, this exactly is what is going on, and this is what. We're trying to do and so he summarized his whole speech in four key areas he said first prepare and be ready second detect protect and treat and third reduce the transmission and finally innovate and learn 
and again is advising government of countries said communicate with your people about the risks and how they can protect themselves this is everybody's business now what i need to tell you here is you don't have to fear you don't have to fret all right just protect yourself in my own country here i see a lot of people going about with nose masks it has to be properly used as well all right so don't panic all right do not panic at all right just take charge of your health wash your hands as often as you can and do not use a dirty hand to rub your face do not go to places where you have so much clusters and if at any point in time you realize that you are sneezing profusely right calling for help immediately your country should have some helplines that you can call all right so prevention preparedness public health political leadership and of course people owe themselves to make this work so i want to enjoy you that you do not fear do not panic right i have declared a global pandemic doesn't mean that this is the end of it all now let me show you something interesting about this corona um, virus is the fact that let's go to the fact sheet i'm on the who's um, website let's see some fact sheet now coronavirus isn't just one right it's more or less like a spectrum of um, viruses all right which is why um this is the first time okay that the who is recording such a thing or um a pandemic caused by a coronavirus before now you had ebola you know and all that which even wasn't really declared as a pandemic as it were all right but we are now at a point where uh, the whole lot is happening and coronavirus seems to be spreading to every corner of the world all right no one is immune no one is safe anymore anything uh, can happen all right it is spreading like wildfire and of course you know that some countries are still battling ebola right yes so a country is not battling ebola doesn't mean that ebola has been wiped away completely all right so that's it basically i was trying to show you yeah okay so i was trying to get some fact sheets uh for you let's see if we have it here Okay, so it's not uh, it's not here because it's an it's an epidemic or it's an emergency.